Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth, and a big heads up, Chicago. Um, this post I just saw, and normally you guys know I don't read a whole lot to you, um, but in this case I'm going to because of the sensitivity uh, or the possibility uh, of the, the issue. And you see there, warning, if you live anywhere near Chicago, brace yourself for massive rioting. We're at a website called themostimportantnews.com. So right there, even the, the site name kind of, you know, invalidates anything you might be told. But again, possibilities, the times we're in, all these things, this very well could be very valid. And um, it's not going to hurt you to know that it's possible and to maybe even prepare in some ways if you live in Chicago. Uh, I just scanned through the information uh, quickly, and I'm going to read it to you in full now so you get the gist of what they're saying. A video is going to be released tomorrow that shows a white police officer shooting a 17-year-old African-American young man named Laquan McDonald 16 times. Cook County State's Attorney Anita Alvarez says that this video is graphic, violent, and chilling, and it is expected to provoke a very strong emotional reaction from Chicago's very large African-American community. Over the past few years, Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, and Freddie Gray have all become household names because of the way they died, and now it looks like Laquan McDonald's name will be added to that list. But the situation in Chicago is potentially even more volatile than uh, what we witnessed in either Ferguson or Baltimore. Um, more than a million African Americans live in the Chicago metropolitan area, and the crime rate in the city has already been skyrocketing. Um, in fact, it is being projected that Chicago's murder rate will increase by 20% in 2015. This is a city that's always living on the edge of chaos, and now uh, the case of Laquan McDonald could spark, could be the spark that sets Chicago ablaze. Uh, after everything that's happened over the past few years, the last thing we need is another incident that will make racial tensions in the country even worse. Unfortunately, that appears to be exactly what we're going to get. Well, it seems like you've already gotten it. Okay, because there's, again, a cop shooting um, another human, period. I, I can't see past that. I, I'm sorry, I can't. I, I refuse to. I could. I could be sheep-like. But anyway, let me get back to this before I get too pissed off. Um, unfortunately, there's, yeah, okay. Cook County Judge Franklin Valderrama has ordered the city of Chicago to release the video in the death of Laquan McDonald to the public by November 25th. Uh, the following comes from CNN. Uh, Laquan McDonald was walking down a Chicago street in the night of October 20th, 2014, carrying a four-inch knife and behaving erratically, authorities say. A police officer told him to drop the knife. He didn't listen, and the officers fired on him out of fear for his life, according to the police union spokesman. McDonald, 17, died. He was shot 16 times. Now, more than a year later, the public will be able to see what happened. Um, doesn't say that Laquan made any move towards the officer, I want to point out. <laughs> 16 times. Um, I know that's not necessary. I, I, you know, one. If you're an officer of the law and you're getting paid to do something, one. If it's not one, then you're fired. That's how it should be. Um, just on that one fact. 16? Really? Okay, anyway, the video is reported extremely disturbing for African-American activists. Wait a minute, you know, they keep throwing this in. Ferguson was the fault of the African-Americans, although I know there were a lot of white people in there in support of the black community. Okay, um, but the, if you, and I, I should have stopped earlier and pointed it out, but that's what that spin was, blaming the African-Americans for the, the issues in Ferguson and uh, Baltimore instead of the real issue. Still the real issue. Um, so I'm already not liking this. But, again, uh, you know, if it's getting put out in the media, guess what's going to happen next? Even if nobody had the idea, now they have the idea. And they have the justification because it's going to be given to them right here. Let's read on. Um, Cook County State's Attorney Anita Alvarez specifically moved up the announcement of the murder charges against the white police officer that shot McDonald to November 24th in a desperate attempt to diffuse the reaction to the video that will be released on the 25th. The next excerpt comes from USA Today. 
Cook County State Attorney Anita Alvarez described the video which shows Van Dyke unloading 16 shots on a 17-year-old Laquan McDonald is, as grim. It is graphic, it is violent, it is chilling, Alvarez told reporters after Van Dyke appeared in court. So it's the same thing. Now that, yeah, we don't need to read that. Um, we already heard it, and that's just another version of it. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, I think we see what's going on here. Um, there's some more, I, I was going to read it all, but you know what, this type of stuff, I, I'm not going to, okay, if you want to go read it and put yourself through that spin, I'm going to link you to it, as I always do, but, you know, I didn't read it in full before I presented it, just the headline alone tells me, uh, what's going on, and, and that you need to know, okay, so there's probably going to be riots in Chicago, are they planned, uh, are they funded, uh, is it manipulated, probably, but it doesn't matter. These are the times we live in. What matters is you know that your city's next and you're going to do something to prepare for it, uh, even if it's just mental. And, you know, put away some food, stay off the street, uh, talk to your kids, you know. There's things you can do right now before that video is released and all hell breaks loose. Much love. Many thanks. The link will be below, and I'll see you soon. Quickly back with you folks, um, I went over to Twitter and Chicago has erupted in some sort of mayhem. Um, looking on Twitter, there's all kinds of stuff. You know, the video has been released. The kid was just murdered. That's what I see. Um, people were um, starting to attack police. There's all kinds of tweets uh, going on right now. Some of the top tweets that I just looked at um, were about the protesters uh, surrounding police and um, so I don't see any live streamers out there in Chicago um, you know if if somebody can get down there and and tell us what's going on via phone I'll go live instantly reach out to me you guys can uh, call me directly let me know what's up uh, if things go bad we need to get something going on down there if you're a live streamer get down there um, if you're in Chicago and, and you can keep an eye on what's going on and give us updates or, or whatever, put them out on Twitter, uh, get with me, I'll share your information, whatever the case, but be safe, everybody. Um, you know, a lot of this is by design. If we just stop playing the game, they can't win the game. Much love. See you soon.